What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with Paulo Borrachinha Costa. Welcome, Paulo. How are you? Thank you, my man. I'm great. Thank you. Yeah, long time don't talk. Uh, lately, you got a... Last time we talked, you, talk, you, you, you asked, like, uh, revenge against Marvin Vettori. Vettori was uh, 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 is going to fight in Whitaker. Then you challenged Strickland. Strickland was appointed with uh, Poitain. And then you challenged uh, Derek Brunson, who said there is no interest to fight you because you are heavyweight. What is the next step, Paul Costa? We have a Hermanson number seven, that in two, number eight, Uriah Hall, nine, Gastelum, ten, and also Hawk Hold that want to fight you. Is there any of these names interesting for you? Yeah, man. Uh, I have been, I have tried to, to, to make a, a fight to come back on, on this um, middleweight, middleweight ranking. But uh, I, I try to fight Saint Strickland. Saint Strickland have have uh, he called me out to fight on December, but I I could not. I couldn't because uh, I was injured. If my my foot my foot was injured, but I I told him okay we can do that on July or June. But when I be able to fight, he he uh, disappoint me. He he be unable to fight. He choose to fight someone out of rank. Uh, he choose to fight Alex, who is a uh, unranked guy. So I, I don't understand what what you know what Saint Strickland uh, thought about that. So I have called uh, as well Derek Bronson because. We are we three are the number the number four on, on the same position on the rank, and he run away. He just say, "No, I have something to do. I will not fight now." So I'm look for fight for someone on on the rank. You know, just this. Uh, I hear you say we have a hockey hold once that fight, but I don't know if if the the best option because he's not on the rank. I'd like to fight some someone on the on the rank, you know, uh, like uh, Hermanson, uh, yeah, uh, Gastel and Darren Chiu. One of these three names, uh, you you yeah. you rather yeah. fight? So, uh, yeah. Is there anyone that you would rather fight more among these three names? Yeah, all, all of these three guys, three guys could be very possible to fight because they are uh, good names. I I really think uh Huck Hold is a good name as well. You know, he has some popularity, he's a former champion. The only problem is because he's out of range. But if the fans want that fight, if uh, if this fight go, go, could be a, a very good entertainment, we can do that. You know, if if you not have a auto option, we can we, we we should make that fight happen. Great, great. So if the fan asks, you're going to make it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, Borrachinha, uh, another interesting point. After your fight against Adesanya, uh, you said you completely changed your routine. You started mm -hmm. to sleep early. Uh, mm -hmm. You changed everything. And even your training system now. Please tell us about that. So, yeah, are you sleeping yeah. earlier? You don't need yeah. to drink wine anymore to sleep. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, this is a big change in my life because I needed to to do that to to do that because my health was not good, my hormone levels was not good because I was going to sleep uh, when the sun rise. So it's not it's not good for your health, you know. You need to 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 have a very good night of sleep to wake up very recovered, full recovered, and and go training hard. So I changed a lot of things on my routine, and now I go I'm going to to bed very early, like at 10 p.m. or something, or 11 p.m. And that makes a lot different 
on my lifestyle, my my uh, energy, you know, I, I, I can feel that. And the, another big uh, change that I made on, on my training is my style of, of movement, my style of fight. Because now I'm using more uh, the footwork and the movement of the head movement and body movement to increase the frame, increase the feint, you know, uh, all this, all these things together will make a lot difference on my next fight. I, I have no doubt about that. Will be very different fighter, very explosive. I still very explosive, very uh, fast, but I will put a lot movement of footwork, you know, to go in and go out very quickly and you know put all my weapons together and on the extra of my my opponent interesting and when you you think you're gonna be back in, in the octagon when when you're training for i'm training i'm training for long four months uh since uh my my recently fight against Marvin and uh, I think the best date to come back to to the cage so, should be uh, sh should be on July. July should be a very good date, you know, uh, half of July, something like that. And and but how how do you see a guy like Poitain, uh, who was unranked, fighting Strickland, which is over you, is is ahead of you in the rankings? And probably if he win, Strickland. No, he's not. He's, not, he, Strickland, he's out me. Uh, Strickland is number four. You're number four too. They put together, but they are putting. I don't know why, but they put Sean Strickland now in the rankings. I, I have the ranking open here. He has a uh, Marvin Vettori three, Sean Strickland four, uh, uh, Derek Bronson four, and Paulo Costa four, and then Jack Hermanson seven. So. Uh, doesn't matter if he's a, a, a above or, a, or down, but uh, how do you see if you win Sean Strickland fighting for the title against the Sun and, and jumping over out of the ranking of the top 15 uh, straight to the title? How do you see that? Yeah, uh, I have been asking that, uh, Sean Strickland to fight against me because we have some babes, he said some shit about me. And I I called him, I called him to, to fight, but he he go out and he prefer to fight something unranking, unranking who is uh, uh, Alex. I don't know why, maybe he, he thinks this is the best choice for him. I understand, yeah. And, and, and what about the possibility? Many, I, I saw UFC pressuring you a lot to fight in the light heavyweight division. Uh, do, do you think about that possibility? For example, uh, Thiago Marreta Santos, he got uh, two fights in the lightweight division and fought uh, after two wins straight John Jones for the title girl. Uh, do you see that possibility or your, your focus is 100% in having your, your re rematch against uh, Israel Adesanya? Yeah, for sure. I am just focused on fighting Adesanya again. You know, on this time, 100% there. I will be, I will, I will be 100% there, just focused with no problem on the, 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 the night before the fight. So I am on the mission. I am on, on the mission, you know. Uh, I am a middleweight, and I'm look very good now. I am on the my best condition, and I will make 185 with no problem. The, I just miss weight one time after very very heavy, very hard injury on my arm. So. I could not make weight, but now I'm okay. I'm 100%. I will make 185 in. I will fight for this uh, division until I get the belt and fight at the sun again. And that that's my mission, you know. I need to fight him again. 
and, and how long do you think you're gonna get there again? Two victories, I, I am just two victories, victories, and I will be there again. <laughs> so in that case, you're gonna you're gonna chair against uh, the, the the country mates Alex Poitain in case he beats Strickland. For example, if uh, Poitain beats uh, Sean Strickland, you're gonna chair against him if he fights Adesanya before you because you want the rematch. It doesn't matter to me, you know, if Alex Poitain go and fight for the title, good for, good luck for him, you know? Uh, he's Brazilian as, as well, and just good luck for him. But, uh, anyway, anyway. anyway, mm -hmm. but anyway, uh, I have my, my way, you know, my, my road for, for my goals and I will be on my my road for my for my goals. I, I'm I'm following my my follow my my dreams, you know. I need to fight again for the title. Thanks a lot for the interview, Bohashin. Welcome back. Uh, the fans want to see you back. July yes. is a very nice date, so we hope to see you back by then. Yes, Alonso, thank you very much. Thank you, fans. And if, if the fans want to fight me, fight Luke Hakhold, no problem. We can do that. I'm just an entertainment guy, and I'm here to bring the entertainment for everyone. Thank you, Alonso. Thank you. Bye-bye.